IGF insulin and HGH, they work together and it allows people with average genetics to become mass monsters if they want, to defy their own genetics. Uh, for me, it's just a shortcut. It means that I don't have to work out as hard. I don't have to diet as hard. I just use a little bit of chemistry here and there and I get to maintain a pretty decent physique um, with very minimal health consequences because we're using these things in synergy. If you take any one of these things by itself in a mega dosage, then there will be serious side effects and not so much benefit. But if we take all three together, then we get very minimal side effects, if not no side effects, but we get massive benefit. We build not only larger muscles, but more muscle cells, which means that our body becomes lower maintenance in the future. It increases the potential of the amount of muscle we can actually put on our physique, and it makes it much easier to maintain muscle when you're actually building new cells instead of just volumizing your existing muscle cells. This phenomenon is called hyperplasia as opposed to hypertrophy. Hypertrophy, bigger muscle cells, hyperplasia, more muscle cells. And so you wanna make each muscle cell bigger and you want more muscle cells. And you just can't really do that without things like mostly IGF and secondarily HGH and insulin, and they all work together. So my friend asks me, um, when's the best time to take IGF? I think right after your first set in the gym, uh, but that's kind of inconvenient. So if you have to choose pre or post workout, I say pre-workout, but as close to the beginning of the workout as possible. I'm referring to IGF DES, D-E-S, the short acting 30 minute and uh, insulin-like growth factor IGF versus IGF LR3, in which case it wouldn't matter which time of day you took it. So the fast acting IGF, take it yeah. at the very beginning of the workout. And then you ask, should you take insulin and, or insulin, do you need to take insulin with it? Because I've said that it's synergistic in the past. The answer is no, because IGF will open the muscle cell to receive the nutrients and it'll cause a hormonal change or it is the hormonal change that leads to the splitting of muscle cells and creation of new muscle cells. So you get those two benefits. And then from the insulin, you're getting the nutrient shuttling. Yes, you can take it, it'll amplify the amount of nutrients and the speed at which you can uptake nutrients into the muscle. So like if you were having a massive amount of carbs, then definitely they would be massively synergistic together. But since IGF already accepts nutrients into the cell to some extent, like if you're not giving yourself the, all the raw materials to build, then you don't need that much of a hormonal response because your limiting factor is the amount of calories and building materials for muscle cells. So then if you add the HGH, now you have all three components. I mean, the re they work together, of course, because HGH plus insulin equals, plus more things, equals I like estrogen, IGF. Um, so, you know, if we weren't going to take IGF, we'd take insulin and growth hormone together and that would result in our body making its own IGF. It's just that you're taking a huge amount of IGF for a short burst in time, you know, more than your body could produce it itself, but you're still taking it at the timing with the growth hormone and the, and the insulin so that you can uptake more nutrients and create more of a, uh, hormonal signal for hyperplasia. I mean, this is just the theory. I'm not, I'm not saying this is the exact science. I'm saying this is the theory under which if you understand and you approach it like this, you will get the results. So it helps you understand how it works so that when you're going through the process, you're like, I'm gonna take IGF. Oh, do I need to take insulin? No. If I'm taking insulin, should I take IGF, uh, HGH? Yes, every time. So every time you take, so every time you take insulin, you should be taking HGH. Every time you take GH, you should be taking insulin unless your prior, highest priority is fat loss, and then in which case, take the growth hormone without the insulin. And then can you take IGF by itself? Yes. Can you take insulin by itself? Only with growth hormone. Can you take growth hormone by itself? Yes. Only, if not, unless, uh, don't only take the growth hormone by itself with nothing else if you just want major fat loss. I'm just repeating it again because this is like the formula. This, this answers 90% of people's questions about HGH and, and insulin. Any, anything else? No? Okay.